Hey, what's up YouTube? Luke the Window Cleaner. Brianna. Hi. We have had this question a million times. So anyways, today we are going to show you how we clean behind neon signs. Also, just a quick thing. This is also a question we get. Uh, people ask about these signs too, the little, the little suction cups. For those, we will bring a step ladder, take them all down, put them to the side, clean, and then put them all back up. Okay, so there's a million different types of neon signs. So this is just one kind of version, I guess. These are really big neon signs. You're gonna find these a lot at bars, uh, signs like this. Uh, restaurants, mostly it's just gonna be like the big open signs. But for this one, you're gonna see this one at a lot of bars will have these signs. I would say uh, the only tips I would give you for cleaning around neon signs is just make sure your mop is not dripping, take your time, and be very careful. But anyways, we'll show you how we clean around this one here. There's two different ways. So we have two people here working. So we'll show you a way what we would do with two people, and then we'll show you how we would do it if we were alone. So with two people working, Now, if you were doing this alone, he's doing the same thing. He's pulling it out with his hand, making sure not to touch the bulbs. And he'll mop down one side. He doesn't have to worry about it touching because the plastic pushes the bulbs out from the window. This is also where it comes in handy, being able to use both hands. So I'll clean down to a certain point, I'll come off the step ladder, and I'll finish the bottom. But this is what I'm saying, so if you're cleaning this side, you'll squeeze you with your right hand. If you're cleaning this side, you're going to squeeze you with your left hand. So that's where it comes in handy, being kind of ambidextrous for being able to use your tools. Hopefully that fan's not too loud. See, I keep wanting to use my right hand. <laughs> also, it, it helps to be able to fan. Even if fanning isn't your preferred method of cleaning glass, it does help in the situation because doing a straight pull behind this would be very, very difficult. That'd be hard. Yeah, there you go. We'll do it again. We've got one more. Okay. So again, we have our step ladder. We have some bamboo. Now, if we were doing it with two people, I, of course, would hold the sign out. Luke would clean either side. That's like the easy way to do it. Again, just doing half the window. Making sure not to touch the bulbs. And you'll notice, again, I'm not worried about cleaning this bottom part. I'll do that when I'm done with getting around the side. Is that 
new rubber is always a good idea. <laughs> That's insane. Okay, sorry about you. Sorry about you. This isn't really a video for all of your neon signs, but it's just each one of your counters is going to be a little bit different. The most important thing is, again, is you're not, you know, your mouse not dripping a lot of water. And you're being careful not to touch the bolts. And if you're working by yourself, say it is just like a neon open sign and it's kind of up, you know, hanging up above a door or something, you're just going to have to bring a ladder. You just, I mean, to, there's yeah. no way around it. If, if you've got two people, that person might be able to reach it and pull it out for you. And then we strongly suggest um, the accelerator because you can change the angle on that. Um, we have a bar downtown that has a sign, a neon sign in every single window. And now it doesn't have the plastic backs like this. So I have it has the little feet on it, though. Yep, so I have to hold it from the feet. And I do the same thing. I hold it out, I clean half, stop, hold it out, clean half, stop, do the bob. That's how we do it over there. And if you have a job that has a lot of neon signs, just make sure you're charging correctly. Um, I would charge extra if you're gonna be moving those signs out and holding them and cleaning around those signs. Don't bid the window. So for example, we're typically at $2 a window. I wouldn't bid that window at $2. I would bid it closer to five to ten dollars if you're gonna to have to hold that sign out every single time right yes yes that's what we did at that bar yeah exactly that bar the outside of that bar is like 20 bucks 25. 35 35 should okay. <laughs> the outside of that bar is like 30 bucks but inside now it's closer to 80. 85. 85. yeah just because we have to deal with those signs Okay guys, hope that video helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Also, we have our own forum. Go to loopthewindowcleaner.com slash community. Uh, we'll leave a link down below to the forum. Join up, ask us questions, send us pictures, troll us, whatever you gotta do. <laughs> All right, thanks guys.